<laughs> My name is Maria Lilas, and in the 60s, I was very young. A lot of things happened in the 60s. It was a good time. Oh, hi, my name is Anna, and I'm from Puerto Rico. I had a baby in the 1960s. Hi, my name is Betty. I was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. Hi, my name is Doris Edwards, and I was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. Hi, my name is Richard. My occupation during the 60s was well, uh, I worked for the New York Department of Social Services uh, during that time. <laughs> Uh, hi, my name is Leonard. Uh, coming up in the 60s, we uh, played a lot of games like ball season, top season, punch ball from sewer to sewer, triangle, coca -Libium. It was also the beginning of my becoming gainfully employed at a regular job. <laughs> hi, my name is Tom. I was a kid in the 60s. Hi, I'm Joanne. I was in high school and college in the 60s. I don't want to say my name, but Miami. Yeah, I lived in Miami. Well, I left him. Well, I went around in San Francisco, Mexico. <laughs> My name is Joan Hall, and I am an artist. I I was an artist in the 60s. I wanted to be a dancer, and I went to Juilliard, but I flunked out. I flunked ballet. I was in my 20s in the 60s. <laughs> My name is Wayne Turner. I uh, moved to Brooklyn in 1971, and uh, my parents are from Oklahoma and Texas. In the 60s, I was a student. I am Abraham Puerta Latino. Uh, I was born in January, January 1st, oh, I'm sorry, January 4th. Uh, growing up, there were eight of us all together, five guys, three girls, and we all lived in an apartment in Red Hook with my mom and dad. My parents are from Oklahoma. It's a different place down there. The apartment was broken up into two parts. There was a girl side and a side for us guys. And every morning and night, we would have a hot meal ready for us on the table. Down where I was, we had a bunch of rich black millionaires, and when the whites would come back from war, they would just start bombing the place, just going crazy, saying it was their right or something. Well, in the 60s, I was a student. Back then, my mom would send me out to the store with one buck, and with that one buck, I would get milk, bread, eggs, and still have a quarter left. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my family was, and still is, very political. My sister was a member of the uh, Black Panther Party. Well, when the Vietnam War started, they would have drafts for the army, and I was very patriotic. I figured young men, my friends, were out there fighting, so I went out and joined. But my birthday wasn't one of the dates pulled out of the lottery, so I stayed here. I lost most of my friends in that war. You know, back then, the young people had a saying, uh, don't trust anybody over 30. Yeah, back then, the youth was revolution. The government was trying to help the people out, but I don't exactly remember how they were involved. Well, when the Constitution was written, it said that all men should be treated equally, but really, that only meant white men who owned property. You see, the 60s, it was a time of revolution. It was a time that's never going to happen again. I mean, not just the country, but the world changed. Our faces blue to the TV screen. It was a cool time. We were watching. We were cool. Our eyes were watching. Our faces were blue to the whole time. You will not be able to say it, oh brother. You will not be able to plug in, turn on, and drop out. You will not be able to lose yourself on snag and skip. Skip out the beer during commercials. Because the revolution. Because the revolution. Because the revolution. Because the revolution. Because the revolution will not. Ha <laughs> ha!